hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Lauren and today I'm gonna be going over how to survive high school. I currently finished high school in complete. Um, I have graduation coming this Friday. Friday. When this video uploads, I will be officially done with high school. So I just wanted to prepare you guys um, if some people who are um, in high school or going into high school uh, what it's gonna be like and what you need to do to survive high school. So I have compiled a list of things that you need to know um, in order to you know complete your high school days. The first thing is always get places early. Now I know people are like what? Okay people stop like people stop and talk to like their friends in the hallways and stuff and like they end up being late to class um and also you might want to get to class a little bit early just in case you forgot to do a, an assignment um that was like secretly assigned and you did not know about trust me i've done like 10 minute homeworks it's just sitting in class before the bell is rung so trust me it'll save your life one day be nice to everyone including the teachers um because you know the teachers are the ones with the pity points you know and they can round up your grade so it's always a good idea to be nice to everyone <laughs> don't start drama because drama is tiring and it's overrated and it honestly sucks and it's boring and it's just it's for fake people and with people with no lives like honestly get over yourselves and like stop talking about people and what they do and their decisions in life like you have your own life to worry about so stop judging others, you know? Also, have a planner. This is like a necessity. Um, I use a planner so much. This is my week right now. Um, yeah, this is this week and it's busy. Um, but a planner has saved my life so many times. Um, like there's been things that I've looked at my parents, I'm like, oh yeah, I gotta do that. Like still, and um, especially cause I played varsity basketball. Um, so, balancing my homework with practice scheduling it you know and then tests and studying the like the night of and it's it helps definitely a lot and planners definitely help with stress so you can like plan out your week say okay i have this to do this day and then this to do the next day to prepare for this day so how, planning out your week definitely really helps um just everything especially if you're taking like AP classes and honors classes like I do I don't you know so it just it just helps with what you have to do and what you have to keep up with um, so it just helps you organize it all along kind of with the planner stuff if you do feel like overwhelmed and like really stressed out um, you just kind of have to tell yourself like it's okay like you know I got this um, take one thing at a time one day at a time one second at a time and everything will be cool you just gotta get through it like everybody else does. Find things that make you happy. High school, you change so much during high school. Like you grow so much, your 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 opinions change, what you like changes, and you know, your whole body and hormone things are just like everywhere and it's madness. It's absolutely madness. And like so many people are just like they they just become depressed in high school because you're waking up early, you're not getting enough sleep. You know, they're, you're hungry, you have to eat a specific time, and you know, you have to do schoolwork that you don't wanna do. So, you know, a lot of people, a lot of kids joke, they joke about like, oh my gosh, like I have so much work, I wanna kill myself, blah, blah, blah. They like talk a lot about that. So like, you know, being in that kind of environment, it, it gets you down, <laughs> not gonna lie. Um, you know, it, it definitely has an impression on your mood. So finding things that make you happy um, through day to day actually, you know, really helps. And um, yeah, so find find a way to not say that. A lot of people say that in high school. So just prepare yourself for, you know, people being depressed always. And it kind of makes you depressed in a way. Take it seriously um, because, you know, I feel like people just come to high school and they try to take the easiest classes to like, you know, just get it over with, get, you know, um, those easy classes to boost your GPA and then, you know, you can get into a college or whatever. Um, I didn't <laughs> take easy classes. I took, you know, honors classes and classes that, you know, challenged me and things. And I think that it, it was overwhelming at some times, but like, 
Um, I think it, it was, it helped me more than taking easy classes and classes that would just boost my GPA because I know that they were easy and I know that I could do them and pass it, you know, with no effort. But I do recommend taking honors classes. Um, I don't know about AB classes. I took this whole high school year, I took two um, college level classes um, to get college credit for when I go to college. Um, and I'm right now I'm currently taking a college class um, during the summer. I recommend you, you know, take those college college classes because if you take enough of them, you can end up being a semester ahead um, in college. That means, you know, the less that you're gonna have to pay. So I, you know, seriously do think that um, taking higher level advanced classes definitely help and they also prepare you for um, classes like college uh, if you decide to choose to go to college. <laughs> oh, here's a big one on my list. Don't do drugs or, or make sex tapes because, you know, once once somebody has those, you know, and, and it's it, things get leaked and it, it's just, you know, the whole school knows then knows about it. I mean, like I know a couple people who've done that and it, yeah. Going back to the drug factor, um, you're gonna have lots of people who do drugs um, and you're gonna be offered that as well. Um, I, I would I would kind of just stay away from it. I mean, I did stay away from it from um, you know because I you know I played basketball. I had to you know keep a clean slate. But um, yeah, high school definitely you know there's a lot of druggies. All right, I'm just gonna say there's a lot of druggies, and you can certainly tell who the druggies are. Um, so yeah, so um, just be pre prepared for that because you know a lot. There's a lot of drugs. <sighs> also, drink a lot of water because it is really good for you. It uh, boosts your energy levels, it cleans your your, your skin, your face. And, uh, it's just overall really good for you and it's beneficial for your body, so drink lots of water. Um, even though it makes you go to the bathroom a lot during the day, you know, I mean, hey, it's another excuse to, you know, get out of class, I guess. <laughs> um, but yes, drink water having a small group of friends um, because you know high school people like to have you know big you know clicks and like things that like have a lot of people um, and you know I, I doubt half of those people will stay in contact after high school because college like everybody splits up for for college and um, you know not many people of the same group will be I don't know reunited so yeah, so I recommend like this small, small group of friends because you know, you only need like a couple people uh, who can really like, you know, keep you in a solid state <laughs> and um, that you can really trust because yeah, people like to spread a lot of things in high school and being able to trust somebody is definitely a key factor in high school and having relationships and friends in general. Join clubs or activities that are like outside of school or things like I for me was basketball I played JV and varsity basketball um, all four years and uh, so that was that was that was bad that pretty much took up most of my time um, and so I couldn't really you know join any other after school clubs but also I would have joined the art club but like there was like a fee you had to pay to get into that so I wasn't about that <laughs> because you know I, I I like saving my money and you can also get to meet new people as well by joining these things so that's also a plus side to joining uh, activities and lastly which I'm gonna leave you guys on is enjoy the experience even though if it's like really bad <laughs> if it's a bad experience and you have anxiety attacks like once a month um and like you don't know what to do with your life half of the time just just try to you know enjoy it embrace it because you know high school is not gonna last forever even though it feel like it feels like it does or it's going to um it doesn't anyways everything is linked down in the description below including my patreon page so if you want to go support you can it's there um it helps film these videos as well as get new equipment when they break <laughs> um yeah, and um, yeah, also saving it for college as well because college is ex really expensive. Anyways, yeah, also there's a GoPro on eBay if you want it, uh, link in the description. 
And yeah, I hope you guys have a great life. And if you're going to high school or in high school, good luck. I wish you the best. You will do great things. And I will see you guys all in the next video. Peace.